What up, y'all? It's Once or Grow, checking in. Checking in with the American people and our allies. How is everyone doing on this overcast day? It's not a miserable overcast. It's that light gray, which is not un, um, pleasant. It's pleasant. It's not unpleasant. It's not unhappy. It's just a little overcast, you know? Sky's a little little light grayed up. It ain't nothing. It's cool. Yeah. So, uh, man, temperature is 47 degrees. Let me see the temp outside. Let me feel it. It don't really feel 40. I mean, it is 47. I mean, I guess it feels a little 47. It's not really that chilly, man, for some reason. Maybe because I have some tactical layers on. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe because, you know, I've got the heat on. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, maybe because, you know, it's been the winter for a while, so I've acclimated to it, and it's cool, you know? But, I mean, honestly, it don't feel like anything. I mean, it just feels normal, you know? I ain't tripping. I mean, it ain't it ain't necessarily a bad thing, you know what I mean? It's a good thing. Good shit. Lollipop. Old school shit for y'all motherfuckers who don't know. Yeah, man, I'm just out dipping, flight navigating, doing a little uh, re-conoitering, uh, i.e. reconnaissance. Scoping out the situation, dipping, flight navigating through hyperspace, seeing who's who, seeing who the fuck is doing what, you know, eyes of your eyes type shit. Did my early morning Tai Chi, got my calisthenics in, got my martial arts in, got my organics in. Yeah, man. Fucking rolling. Absolutely. <sighs> Fuck these niggas who be on some Hellraiser type shit. They want to end up in hell forever and they can never get out. Just saying some niggas want to go to hell. They're hell bound. Yeah, it's not the it's not like what the Bible talks about so much. It's a little different. In my opinion, in my view, there's an area, there's a little space set aside in hyperspace for evil motherfuckers who want to go away forever. It's not all fire and brimstone. It's a little it's a little worse than that. But anyway, man, enough of the fiery church sermon and shit. Just fucking rolling past people that are holding their phones in their cars, you know, on a Saturday. Fucking primitives, medievals, 
you know, people who are fucking lost in the past, people who are fucking gone. You know, they say, man, when you travel through space, you travel through time. To travel through space is to travel through time. It really is. What does he say? Offset? Temporal? Space-time? Divergence? Man, we've conducted experiments that when you travel through time relative to the stationary observer, you're actually time traveling. So the faster you go toward the speed of light, as you approach the speed of light, time slows down, time dilation, you're actually time traveling. So for those of you who are not awake, Z, sleepy, for those of you who don't get it, I'll explain again. By the way, thank you for tuning into the show. If you are fans of this show, then I, we, 495, most certainly fucking appreciate you. And I've probably said that multiple times. So, you want to learn about time travel? I'll explain it to you. It goes like this. You know motherfuckers that are on their phones in their cars, holding their phones in their hands? They're medievals, okay? Now, those medievals that hold their phones and slow down traffic behind them, like the one that I just fucking zipped past in hyperspace, zip, okay? Now, I'm in hyperspace. That person is in medieval stupid space. I'm on a different time frame. That person's on a behind time frame. I'm forward fucking time frame. Now, the way time travel works is, take it one step further. The faster you go in the direction of light speed, you are actually traveling through time. You're actually traveling through time. The closer you get to light speed, the faster, farther you have traveled through space-time. So astronauts going into space, leaving Earth, are actually time-traveling on a micro scale. Though they're not going light speed per se, they're traveling out out into space at such a high rate of speed that the casual, the casual, stationary observer on Earth looking up, look at the rocket ship. Look at the space shuttle. It's cool. That's a stationary casual observer looking up at a rocket that is traveling away at a high rate of speed from that observer on the ground. The astronaut inside the motherfucking shuttle. Yeah, the motherfucking shuttle. That's how I would teach my class. I'd be like, yo, the motherfucking shuttle. The reason I use Ebonics is because it paints a picture of an urban landscape. You know what I'm saying? Ghetto shit. Ghetto dope. Get ghetto dope. Ghetto dope. Get ghetto dope. That's Master P. Shout outs to Master P. I checked out the Tony Montana album the other night. It's my third reaction to Master P. You're like, bro, if you're talking about Master P in relation to time travel, oh yeah, I am. Ghetto D. Get ghetto D. So check it out. Stationary observer on the ground. Looks up, sees a rocket ship rocketing out, jettisoning out into space. <laughs> Look at the rocket ship. Look at the space shuttle. Person on the ground, human observer, stationary fix, not moving. Rocket ship moving, incredibly high rate of speed. That rocket ship, believe it or not, is traveling through time. Because it's approaching the speed of light. Now, it is not going to travel the speed of light, but it is closer to the speed of light than the person on the ground observing the space shuttle. And the closer you get to the speed of light, the farther and faster you have traveled through time. So you actually age less. You age less than the person on the ground watching the rocket ship take off. It's absolutely fucking true. We've done the experiments. That's why I stay in fucking flight. You haven't seen my photos, man? I haven't aged a fucking day. 